Hello everybody, my name's Camden and I feel like it's been a long time since we did a good old blender tutorial. So today I'll be showing you how to make a old CRT monitor. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna select everything by clicking A, X, and delete. Now everything's gone. Now add in a cube. Uh, this is like the most exact default shape to a CRT monitor. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, scale it in a way that it looks like a CRT monitor. So I'm just going to speed up that process right now. Okay, I think that looks good. Now we are going to go into edit mode by clicking tab and control B to bevel it. We're gonna just bevel it. Mm, that looks good. So this is, the width would be 0 0.05 and the segments would be four. So now what you're gonna do is click one, I mean, sorry, I mean, I mean the X right here or numpad three. And then you're gonna control R, hover your mouse around the object until you see one horizontal line. Scroll your mouse wheel up uh, to make it two. Now, uh, left click and then right click and then S Z and mm, and scale it up by two. Okay, so now we have this. Now this would be the screen, but the screen is wrapped all around. So we're gonna need to get a few like things that we need to do. So control R once again, and this time have your mouse over the object until you get a vertical line like that. Scroll your mouse wheel up to make it two vertical lines. And then left click, right click, S, Y, and 2.5. There, that looks good. Now click three and click this right here. Then click number pad one, then click E and it will inset like that. Uh, let's make this negative point one. Let's see how that looks. Turn x-ray off. Um, negative point one five this is something that you could that you could just do yourself so so whatever looks good for you is good for you so now you're gonna click s and and it'll look like that and right here you'll put i think this is another thing that you can choose. But for me, I think 0.85 looks good. Now, right click and click subdivide. Now, click a uh, one, click, click this thing right here, or, and then subdivide it again, and again, and again, and again. And then click one and click this center one and turn on x-ray again. We're gonna turn on, by clicking O, we're gonna turn on proportional editing and click G, X. Now move this up by 0.1. Now it looks like this. It looks like 
a really cool CRT monitor. And now we can edit. So now we can just edit and do what we want. So I think I'm gonna bevel these edges right here. Control B. I am going to speed this up and yeah. Okay, uh, I think that looks good. What I'm gonna do is right click, shade auto smooth. And that will make it look pretty nice. I mean like, yeah. So now for the bottom. This bottom looks kind of plain. So click three, not on your number pad, but on your keyboard. And for this, you're going to click Control R and, and hover over until you see a horizontal line. Scroll your mouse wheel up until it's two horizontal lines. Click, uh, left click, right click, S, Y. Oh, I forgot to turn off proportional editing. Click O and then click S, Y. And I think two looks good. Now do that again, just vertical. And now we can click three on your keyboard and then select this face. Click, now you're gonna click E and extrude negative point three. Three, three. Sorry, um, point two. Just regular point, not negative. Um, now click E again and then and then extrude it by 0.1. Alt, click Alt, and then click uh, the edge of this. Now it will go all around. And then click Alt E, extrude faces along normals. Extrude it out by 0.2. Now it'll look like this. What we're gonna do now is click is shift is click shift and while it uh, and then click alt and click the edge of these faces like that. Then control B to bevel. Now this will be point zero two and yeah. I think that looks good. Um, now let's raise this up. G, Z, move this up by one, 1.1. 1. 1. Yep, that's 1.1, 1. 1. okay. So now click, um, so now right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now, uh, yeah, uh, that would be on the bottom. And now we have our CRT monitor, but what's missing? A table and a keyboard. So for our table, let's just click Shift A and add in a plane, scale that up, maybe 10. And you'll see this is clipping, which is fine. We won't see the bottom. Um, so now, cl sh click Shift A, add in a cube, because cubes look like keyboards. And after that, uh, scale it accordingly. So I'm gonna speed that up, or not. SZ, we're gonna scale that up, scale that down by 0.1. SX, I'm gonna scale that down by 0.4. GX, 
put it like that. So move it on the X by 0.8. Now go into edit mode by clicking tab. Click the top face, scale it on the Z by 0.5, GZ 0.05. There, 0.05. Now, now we're gonna click. Now, mm, let's move it over on the X by one. Mm, 1.5, 1.2. Yeah, 1.2, there we go. We found, I found our, I found my sweet spot. Now, click tab. Now, this face is already selected. So let's just click S. Mm. Yeah. Um, control R and hover around the object until this horizontal line goes all around the object. Left click, right click. Three on click three on your keyboard top face and scale it down um and it looks really stretched out so what we're gonna do is get out of edit mode control a scale now as you can see right here it's one one and one so now the scaling works scaling works now so this will be a scale of 0.85 remember you can always find your sweet spot i think i should scale this into my point nine eight point nine five yes point nine five now now that we found our sweet spot um we are going to click three click the top face and click i to inset it like that and let's make this point zero nine. Oh, there we go point zero nine Oh my god, I forgot how sensitive insetting is. So now we are going to click E. Move that downwards by negative 0 0.02. Then scale it by 0.95. There. Now now uh let's let's bevel these edges they just look bad in my opinion they just look really bad and low poly let's fix that up by beveling it um no no beveling. subdivision yes subdivision now click A and and then click N and add a mean crease. Add a mean crease of 0.95. Mean crease bevel weight. Um, we don't need that. So now turn this up into six. And now Let's, on this edge, let's click Alt and click that. We'll make a mean crease of nothing. Maybe 0.1. Now it looks like this. Very good thing. Um, let's, uh, yeah. This looks good. Okay, so now, we have our CRT monitor and our keyboard. But what do keyboards have? Keys. It, it's kind of obvious that they, they have keys. So what we're gonna do is Shift A, Mesh, Cube. 
because everything in a CRT monitor looks like a cube. So, we are going to scale this cube down into 0 0.05. Now, let's move it over to our keyboard by clicking GX and one, sorry, 1.2. Now, on your number pad, click period and zoom out a bit. Now, G, Z. This will be skip, this will go up by 0.13. S, Z, 0 0.3, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.6. Okay. Now that we're done with that, we, we scaled it on the X by 0.1, Y by 0.1, and Z by 0 0.06. So now move it down. So on this Z, we will make it 0.11. Now that it looks like that, we will adjust it, but first we scale this down. 0.8. There, that looks like a computer key. Um, let's click A, Control B to bevel. And there is a lot of beveling in this episode of 3D modeling. <laughs> so shade smooth. Shade smooth on this and shade smooth on the keyboard. So, um, now that we have that, let's move this over to the bottom corner. Mm. Top corner. And see what that is. So let's see, 0.6 for the Y and 1.2. 1.05 for the x maybe let's let's make this let's make the y 0.65 so yeah so now let's add a modifier array and make the factor x of 1.1 let's make that that looks like 4 and then shift D on the array. And instead of factor X, let's make that zero. And Y, let's make that 1.1. Sorry, negative 1.1. Now we have a four by four keyboard and we'll just extend that. Now it looks like a keyboard. That looks very nice, very cool. But we have no space bar. So on these arrays, we will click Control A, or just click this drop down and click Apply. And, and then we are going to tab into edit mode and select and deselect everything. Um, I feel like and click L to select one thing. So I feel like that should go. If you look at CRT monitors, then you'll know that one of them, one of the keys is offset. So let's offset one of these keys. So it's six keys, four keys on here and three on here. Now, let's uh, deselect one by clicking, uh, and, but let's deselect this one. And for these, right click or X faces. Now this one here, L, this one is the special one. This will become the space bar, G, Y. Let's put this in the middle, 
0.275. Now, let's, now let's uh, do this. So we're gonna click on our number pad slash and this we will right click separate selection now let's tab into this one and what we're going to do with this one is number pad slash go click number pad one select these over here and these over here and then click number pad slash again uh click and, and then go to the top view s y no this looks like poop it looks bad so we will deselect this side and for this side we'll click g y now let's make this negative 2.7 2.2 negative 0.27 negative 0.27 negative 0.2 negative 0.275 okay there we go now let's do the same for this side number pad slash Let's go to this side, the opposite side of the side we just selected, and moved out. And let's select this side. Number pad slash, top view, G, Y, we'll make this 0.265, like that. Now we have a space bar, that looks cool. Now. Here, now, if you look at that, <laughs> we have a CRT monitor. So, but we don't have a cord. So, and I'm put, I want a lot of detail in this. So, select the keyboard, edit mode, control R, and do that. Two vertical lines, one vertical line, Scroll up two vertical lines. Now, there we go. Let's only select that. And what we're gonna do on this, S, Y. Now, that happens. Let's make this 0 0.03, cause that looks right. And Control R there, and move it down by 0.5 and control R here and move it up 0.5 or 0 0.01, 0 0.015, there. Now select these faces right here and get out of edit mode and click number pad slash again. Now. See these? This one, we will click E, X, and then move it out by the tiniest bit, negative 0 0.01. And, and after that, we will click on our number pad period to over here. And then with this, we will click Shift, Alt, and these edges and this we will have a mean crease of 0.9 that's that's good and let's level this out so number pad one click this edge right here g x and this will go by negative 0 0.01 perfect that looks amazing now you know shift a mesh let's add a cute cylinder not a cube a cylinder 
I bet you're happy that we're not adding cubes anymore. S Shift Z. We're gonna make this really thin. So, 0 0.01. May maybe even less. 0 0.005. And, mm, how about 0 0.001? Yeah. That seems good. Nope. I feel. Okay. Next, we will add in a. Oops. Next, we will add in a curve path. Let's edit this a bit. So, these. This will start here. So, SX till it starts. When that is, come on, GZ, we will move it up to the center, point four. And we will move this up by point zero four five. There. Now, scale this by point four. Let's, there, yeah. And now we can oh then we can G move this over G G Z um G Y. And now let's just mess with this a bit. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna delete this point and move this one, G, X, inside the computer. So now it doesn't look bad. Now, it doesn't look, it, it looks good, like really good. But we have to add, we can just go into the path settings, geometry, and now we and now we will increase the depth to something we like. So for me, I feel like 0 .001 looks good. So mm, 0 .005, 0 .0025, 0 .0025 looks good. Okay. Now that we have that done, let's add another plug. <laughs> okay, we are really putting some effort into this. Control R, horizontal line. Pull it down by point, by negative point four five. Now, control R, whoops. Control R and click, do that, and move this over like that. So this will be put over by 0 0.0975. That, okay. Control R and make this a horizontal line. Pull it down and we will make this negative 0.85. Now, um, control R again. Um, oh God. And pull this over. This will be negative one. Negative point nine nine five. Negative point nine nine. Negative point negative point nine seven five. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, finally. Move this over. Bye. 
move this over. Bye. Um, point. Point nine seven five. Point nine eight. Control R. And now uh, Control R. To click two, then click this, and this, and G Z. Let's move this up by point zero one five. Now click three and select these four faces. And let's just zoom on, zoom in on these. E, and then point zero zero two. Alt, and click these edges, and then click Control B. There. Point. Point, point zero 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 four. Wow, that is small number. There. Now we have a CRT monitor. Join me in part two, textures. Here is your CRT monitor. You should have this. And goodbye, that's it.